Hey Clay, what do you got planned for us today? Well, I think what we'll do today is uh, hopefully find some hungry fish, of course. But I thought we'd run up and uh, do some bottom fishing. Well, hey, come on, man, let's go fishing, huh? All right, let's go. Ooh, look at that sun, sunrise. Awesome. Hey, Clay, pretty standard rig then, huh? How many hooks on uh, each rig? Uh, I run a three hook rig. Uh, three's a good number for me. Okay, that lead that I'm looking at, that's yeah. a little different. These leads are called pencil weights. Now I can see right away just by that design, you're exactly. not gonna get hung up you, on that rock. Exactly, very much. you got rocks like that. It might drop in, but if you jiggle it, it'll come out. And a lot of times it'll just go right over rock like that. And then uh, the other thing, uh, these rubber bands, uh, it's mm -hmm. a sacrificial thing. Uh, so that if you do, you know, catch Molokai, um, you'll break the rubber band and get your rig back. But we don't want to catch Molokai, we want to catch fish. Yes, try that one, man. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, here's how it goes. All you do is um, flip the bale, and when you jig, short little jigs like this, you want to keep it moving because what you want to, you know, these are artificial, so you want to make it look alive, you know? Get the fish excited. Coming up, Don? You see him yet? Right. Stuart's hooked up too. Stop right there, stop. Looks like what we were looking for. Bring them on in, Stuart. Don, have you caught one of those before? Nope, never had one before. Those nobetas are really, really good eating fish. Clay, what's your favorite way to prepare those? Fry them up. No butter, right? No butter needed in the pan. Nope, olive oil and garlic, that's it. Make sure you got enough garlic. <laughs> Yeah. Good eating tonight. Have you caught these before? No. Scoreboard's even now. Ooh, right on it, right now. Fish all over the place. All right. Fish all over the place. <laughs> all right. How's that, Dan? That's a big one. Oh. Some, some guys have never seen the bet that is this size before. Oh. oh man, look at that. Usually I can eat two fish, but one of these, I think I might need help. <laughs> more garlic, huh? Yeah, more garlic. More garlic. That's a beauty, huh? That is awesome. <laughs> Stuart, you the man. All Stuart, right, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so we're right on All that. All right. A tip for you guys that aren't real seaworthy, don't go fishing a lot. Take some of this ginger candy out with you. It's a natural herbal thing that really helps in your in the motion sickness of any kind. Hey, there. look be look behind you there, Clay. Thon's hooked up. All right. There you go. Doing good. The main thing you keep the line tight. Good job. What do you think, Clay? That one should go back swimming, huh? I think so. It's just a, just a, a shade undersized here. Mm -hmm. Just a little small, so I think we'll let it go. Yep, huh, let it go. All right. Woo. Anyway, Thon, doing a good job there. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. There you go. Man, yeah, Thon, you got to break out the green onions and garlic, man. Oh, yeah. Under the ice, then it goes. All right. All right. Thank you. OK, back at it, guys. The bite is on. Okay, now it's the captain's turn. This should be good.
These guys have some teeth too, though. Oh, yeah. This is about the minimum size that I like to keep. I don't like to keep uh, any hookus uh, under five pounds. You know, they get to be big, 20, 30, 40 pounds even. I like to let the small ones go, but this is, a, this is a minimum keeper size to eat. Good sashimi. We got sashimi here, guys. <laughs> Good deal. Looks like we got what we came for. Captain Clay put us on the fish, and beginner's luck kicked in for Stuart and Thon. Now it's time to heat up that frying pan. Don't go away. More on the fishing show right after this.